Welcome to another video tutorial from 3dgamerguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer 2.0 to show you how to easily and quickly create a Celtic knot design using the new Shape Builder tool in Affinity Designer. I wrote these step-by-step -step tutorials as a answer to a question on social media. I thought it would turn into a nice video tutorial, so I have two designs that I'm going to show you how to create using symbols, lines, expansion of lines and then the shape builder to create the final shape. Let's start with the first one. It's a one line interwoven pattern consisting of four symbols. Each triangular part is identical and just rotated by 90 degrees to make up the pattern. Once I hide three of the four elements, it's a lot easier to understand the design. So we have a triangle starting in the center of the diagonal and going back to the center of the other diagonal. I created this basic grid of rectangles and lines prior. It helps me align my shapes. I use the pen tool to create the four lines I need for this design. They snap to the grid, so they're rather easy to place. I change the stroke setting, make it a little thinner and change to butt caps because we want a straight end of our lines. I then use the node tool to curve the two ends. As you can see the corners are still rounded. I change that to miter and increase the miter setting. If your corners get cut off, keep increasing the miter setting until you get the sharp pointy ends you want. I adjust the end notes a little bit to make sure I have overlap when I have the four symbols to make up the complete design. I then go in, open the symbols panel and create a new symbol from this curve. Probably brighter color helps you see what I'm doing. Key feature in the Celtic knots is the overlapping. I need to cut my line into three segments. Once I color them differently you can see that we are getting closer to the overlapping effect. It's not quite there yet as the bottom shape should cover the top one. I could break it two more times and layer it, do it all with lines, but it's a lot easier to do it with the shape builder tool. Before I get there I duplicate the symbol, rotate it 90 degrees to create the complete pattern. I duplicate three lines make the width of the stroke thinner that's going to be the inside decoration and then I duplicate them again make the stroke wider this is going to be my outline this outline defines the cuts that will create the overlap effect in order for this to work in the shape builder tool I need to expand the strokes so I select all my nine lines and expand them I create the base shape and for that I don't need the decor so I hide those lines as they would just create additional areas to select. I start selecting leaving the gaps created by the outline where I need them. This will create the interwoven look. Once I have all my areas selected I create a new shape from those selected areas giving this new shape a different tint and reducing the opacity of the elements below. You can see the base design. I can now add a stroke to this shape, set the stroke to be behind the fill so it does not interfere with the breaks we have created in the knot. I adjust the fill and give it a gradient and repeat the process of the shape building with the decoration. The white line needs to be cut in the places matching the knot underneath. Once I've selected all the areas, I create the new shape just like I did before. This shape will be placed above the selected elements in the layer panel. I move it into the green base as a child in a clipping mask. Set the opacity a little lower and play around with the gradient rather than the green. Let's go with the blue. And the first of the two designs is done. The second design follows the same process. I create my base line. If you take out the overlaps, it's a pretty simple geometric design that mirrors the top and the bottom. I select the three nodes in the center and set them to smooth and adjust the ends 
in order to match the guidelines underneath. This should ensure that all four symbols tile seamlessly to create the complete pattern. Once I have my baseline, I make it a symbol, I flip it horizontally and vertically and then select those two symbols and rotate them by 90 degrees. I break the line in two places again and then color each segment. This makes it easier to distinguish them and gives a better idea of the overlapping. Once I'm happy with the curve, I select all three elements and duplicate them make the stroke wider for the outline. At this stage it's still simple to adjust the proportions. Once the stroke has been expanded to curves it's a lot harder to make these small changes. I select the three segments and duplicate them for the thinner decor line in the center. I select all nine segments, expand the stroke just as I did in the first design and hide the elements I don't need which is decoration and create my base shape by selecting the areas that make up the pattern using the shape builder tool. I create a new shape from the selected areas and have my core pattern I repeat the process with the decoration line, selecting those areas that will be visible within the knot and leaving out the gaps. I create a new shape from that and place it inside the green base shape as a child to a clipping mouse. I alter the fill and give this shape a gradient and an outline. The stroke is set to be behind the fill. I give it a darker color to be more visible. To make the overlaps more visible, I add a rectangle with a transparent gradient. I set the blend mode to multiply for these in order to mix with the colors below. And that's the design number two done and dusted. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gives you some ideas on how to tackle Celtic knot designs. You can make them more complex, add a second band. The principle is the same. You add a second set of lines expand those to create the shapes to use in the shape builder tool select the areas mind the gaps and create the new shape from the selected areas if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel leave a like leave a comment click on the notification icon and i will see you again soon